Oh, shit. <laughs> there are so many different textures in this one ice cream. 284 kilocalories, so it's quite heavy for a sweet. <gasps> Hi, uh, welcome. Welcome to Welcome Japan Channel. Konnichiwa, Kribos desu. Zenkai, haru ni desu ne, sakura flavor no osusume shoshi, shokai shita no o mite itadakimashita ka? Mada mite nai tiyu kata wa zehi, gai yo ran kara chekko o shite mite kudasai. Konkai wa sono aki version. Nihon dewa desu ne, aki ni naru to, takusan no tokubetsu na kikai gete no shoshi ga hanbai sare masu. Kyo wa desu ne, 私、そしてガンちゃんそしてバレンティーズそして平さんこの4人でですねおすすめの商品を紹介していこうと思いますそれでは1人目の人からご覧くださいどうぞはいかいすわりかそれはガンちゃん and my recommendation is two of this ただ it's a sweet potato donut from Mr. Donuts. So I'm actually a big fan of Mr. Donuts. If you I can see, I also have a Mr. Donut plate. They have the autumn series for donut every single year. But in this three year, I saw that they only sell this sweet potato donut on the autumn. So I guess that it must be one of the best sellers since they make it come back every autumn series, right? All right, so I'm gonna try the first one is Misimo, which means the honey potato donuts with butter. Mmm, mmm, it's oishi. I think that it, they have simmered it with a syrup or honey something because it's very sweet. But the taste is very good, and they also have a very good smell of the butter, very fragrant. Okay, so let's go to the second one. Mmm, oh my god, I love this. So the second one is Daikaku Imo. I guess that is the donut with a sweet potato powder and they glaze it with sugar and then they top it with the sesame. So yeah, I'm gonna have the first bite. No, no, I'm not gonna buy it. Mm. This one also really good. It's sweet, but it's it not that much sweet. And they also have a smell of a sweet potato. So if you like sweet potato, especially Japan, Japanese sweet potato, it's really good. But if I need to compare two of these, the honey potato with the butter, and a sweet potato coating with sugar and sesame, I will shoot this one. This is the best one. But two of these is great. So yeah, when you come to Japan, make sure to try this on the Atom. See ya! Hello everyone, this is Valentin. Maybe you remember me from some of our previous videos. Uh, I'm the balding guy from Mexico. I'm sorry about the reflection in my forehead, but my ceiling light is pretty bright. And it's night time, so I'm sorry about that. Okay, today I'm going to present to you my favorite autumn sweet in Japan. So it's this one. You can see. It's a little cup, you know. It's from 7-Eleven, as you can see up there, the brand. In Japanese it says Oimo to Ringo no Aki Parfait. It means Oimo is potato, Ringo is apple, Aki is autumn, and par Parfait is perfect. You know, the little cup sweets. And it's with sweet potato and apple, you know. And it comes with this little nice cup, you know, pretty sweet. You can see here there is some anko, you know, the red bean paste. Uh, there's some sweet potato, and you know, this little white bowl here, it's a mochi, you know. Uh, the rice sweet made out of rice in Japanese, you know, that you steam it and you pound it together and together and together And it's really chewy it used to be. So let's try it, you know Maybe some people like to eat this, you know, the top layer then the middle, you know, and all the way to the top I like to mix them. I forgot to say, you know, there's some custard here like normal one and then like a different one And some apple jelly at the bottom. So this is right. Some anko, you know, and you know all the way down You know, some pull it up, you know, boom yeah, man. Mm. Feel you know, the custard is pretty sweet, and you know the red bean paste that you can see. Let me show you right here. You know, this, there's actually beans inside. So, yeah. 
pretty nice, pretty tasty. I like it, like I said before. There is some sweet potato, kind of white cream, you know, or like custard. So I'm gonna eat that one after, uh, right now. So, here you go. Mm -hmm. And the potato is strong with this one. There is some are some sesame touches on it, you know, you can see there are some sesame seeds on top. And it's pretty, pretty tasty. I like it. A little bit too sweet, you know, I don't remember it just being too sweet. I haven't had it since last year, so. <laughs> Let me try a little bit more, you know, maybe this time I got a little bit heavier on the white cream. Hmm, more or less. It's pretty good, pretty good, I like it. Let me eat the mochi now, let's hope I don't choke and die. Oh, you can see it's already super sticking all the way. Here we go. Yep. It's mochi. You really need to bite it a lot because it can get stuck in your throat and it's not a nice day if that happens. I'm gonna try the actual like slice of sweet potato we, we've got. Hmm, nice. Hmm, really tender, really tender. Now, I'm used to have sweet potatoes hot, not cold like this one. So it's quite an interesting texture, you know. Instead of being like really hot and it dissolves in your mouth, this one you have to kind of bite it a lot. You know, I like it, I like it. Mm, okay. Mm. Yeah, the jelly got a really, really strong apple flavor. So, you know, that this, this is my favorite one. As you can see, it's a small cup, you know, it's like this big. Like the size of my ear to my chin. And, but you know, it has some quite some calories. It has 284 kilocalories, so it's quite heavy for a sweet. So, you know, every once in a while it's okay to try it, but don't abuse it. All right, well, thank you for watching. And you know, let's go up to the next, with the next person. Bye-bye. Hello, I'm Minami and the autumn sweet that I'd like to introduce is this one. Yawamochi ice cream, daigaku imo flavor. So daigaku imo is Japanese sweet potato dish. It's candied deep fried sweet potatoes glazed with sweet soy sauce and usually black sesame are sprinkled on top and this yawamochi ice cream is the flavor of the daigaku imo and I really like daigaku imo so I am very excited to try it so let's try so I got this in Lausanne but I also saw this in 7-eleven so I think you can also find it in 7-eleven Okay, so this is how it looks like inside. So you can see that there are five small mochi rice cakes inside and also light brown sweet soy sauce glaze and also black sesame sprinkle on top like actual daigaku imo. The bottom part is the sweet potato ice cream and also it says on the package that in this brown glaze there are diced sweet potatoes and also, that's interesting, crunchy candy pieces are in the glaze to make the texture as actual daigaku imo. So let's try. I'll try with the mochi first. Mmm! Mmm! I thought it's going to be a little bit harder or like more chewy, but it's very soft. And I think it's very great invention from this company that, you know, it's from the freezer, it's ice cream, so it's supposed to be very hard, right? But it's very soft. And I actually can see that there are um, small diced sweet potatoes in the glaze. If you look closely. So I'm gonna try with the ice cream of the bottom part. Mmm. Mmm. It really tastes like daigaku imo, actual daigaku imo. And because of the small dices of the sweet potatoes in the glaze, I can taste the rich flavor of sweet potatoes. The ice cream itself is not too sweet, but the um, glaze is uh, a little bit sweeter, so it's really good combination. Mmm. And the texture is very interesting because the ice cream is very creamy and soft and the glaze is very thick 
The candy pieces are very crunchy, but mochi is chewy and soft, so like there are so many different textures in this one ice cream. It's very interesting. Mm. It's really good. This one came out in early September, but it got really popular through social medias. So it was sold out in many stores in the beginning. So yeah, I was really excited to try it. And I can understand that, you know, it got really popular because it's really good. Mm. And because this is ice cream, I think this one goes well with coffee. But I personally think it will be the best to have with Hojicha, which is Japanese roasted green tea. This is the autumn limited version of the Yawamochi ice cream. But they also have like standard flavors like vanilla with red beans and mochi or like green tea ice cream with mochi and red beans. So if you have a chance to come to Japan, please try Yawamochi. And at that time, there may be another seasonal Yawamochi ice cream. So yeah, please. Have a try and that's it from me and I'm gonna finish the rest of the ice cream with my tea. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Hi, みなさんありがとうございます。じゃあ最後に私クリーボスのおすすめの商品を紹介したいと思います。こちらです。はい。これはアルフォートというチョコレートとビスケットがついた。これ実はチョコレートがこういう綺麗なこう絵のような綺麗なこれはあの普通の商品でもこうなってますあ美味しそういただきますうんほのかにあの栗の味がしてすごい秋を感じてます美味しい九十五点ちょっともうちょっと